Good day, everyone. It's Joe here. Just got back from today's little trip. I just put the video on pause right now, but I'm um, just going to probably do some narrative, uh, you know, commentary on this this video just to explain some things that I didn't uh, along the road. But anyways, hope you enjoy. All right. Hello, everyone. Well, let's give this a whirl again. Um, Last time I had some issues with this uh, with this engine, but uh, I think now that I got everything kind of figured out, I'll show you quickly before I start it up. And here is the engine. You'll notice some things are a little bit different. My scale is on here now. It's on the side, so that way I can see it. Um, there's a pivot point right here and also here. So when the engine pushes forward, I'll just turn this on here engine pushes forward right now it's reading zero but if i push this forward a bit you'll notice oh look at that i got 10 pounds of thrust so that's how i'm going to measure that hey guys so yeah basically i just paused the video again uh this fishing scale is a lot better um this reads about a thousand pounds rather than the other one i like this uh digital better than the analog version and it seems to work a lot better than just all the way up to, I think, 100 pounds. This one goes up to 1,000, so I'm happy with that. Anyways, here we go. Last time, uh, I just rewelded the new spark plug, and I put it from, it was from down there to here, so. So, guys, yeah, just quickly, the spark plug relocation. The reason why I did that was it would get fouled all the time. So, the, as the fuel would spray in there, it would ignite, but it would get filled with fuel, and it wouldn't ignite anymore. So this, when it's up here, it would drain. Uh, it wouldn't get fouled anymore. So it turned out really good. All right, we'll give it a try and see what happens. I'll give my lady the honors to hold this. Hey guys, so just back here again, as you can see in this picture, I'm using a leaf blower and what that's doing is it's forcing air uh, past those valves that are inside the engine. And uh, the leaf blower is, is, is producing more air inside there, so you have that gasoline mixture of air. Right now you see that flame in there and, and what the engine really needs to do, it's not running right now, but uh, what it needs is that initial shock wave. So when you do see fire, I have to shut down the pumps. And uh, basically when the, when the pumps are shut off, I have to get that, that fresh new air fuel mixture in there and, uh, and have that fire burn out again. But uh, the, the big key is, is just fine tweaking everything and uh, trying, to, trying to get this thing to buzz. So, um, but we'll get there, it, it does happen. And uh, it's just fiddling around and trying to make things work.
You know, guys, looking back at this, I find it hilarious. Every time I'm fiddling around with that, that uh, fishing scale, it likes to shut off just to conserve power, especially when you need it the most. So it's, it's, yep. it's funny. But as you heard, that was uh, the engine running, that buzzing sound. That buzzing sound was about approximately 80 explosions a second. And when you're there, you, when you hear that, it just rumbles through your chest. It's nothing compared to what you're listening to right now. But uh, it, it's, it's incredible. It's like a rocket going off. So, but um, as you saw, the engine did run. And um, uh, unfortunately, it started to die off. And I think there could be a pressure, uh, pressure problem with the fuel. Usually, it's, I think it's about 75 PSI. And uh, if it's not 75 PSI, these engines are very sensitive to anything. Any pressure uh, problems, any fuel air mixture and if there's no shock wave it's not gonna run so as you see you know what I, I use my leaf blower to start it I uh, put the ignition on and then the fuel pump on and if I don't got that initial uh, shock wave to start that engine I have to redo everything again and hopefully I get that balance of everything but uh, it's a fun hobby it really is and uh, you know doing this outside it, it was cold outside uh, today but um, it was it was fun anyway it's a nice hobby to do and uh you know maybe one of these days i'll be putting it on a kick scooter or a bike i do have to do some more tests with it and uh hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the film This last part of the video, guys, I uh, just want to share with you. It ran really well. Um, you know, the most thrust I got out of this engine was very little than what I expected, but it's okay. Uh, I got about six uh, pounds of thrust out of it, and I think that's the, due to the problem. Maybe there's a blockage in the in the uh, in the fuel nozzle. So uh, this last part, you'll see that the engine gets very hot, almost cherry red hot, and. Uh, you know i have to increase the uh, the fuel pressure to keep the engine running and you'll you'll see that and it kind of the pressure just drops again so uh, it's it's one of those things where i i got to look into you know maybe there's some bugs again associated with it andrea told me too that uh you know it, it's the leaf blower to first starting may need to be a little bit stronger and uh, you know what i believe she's absolutely right so i may need to get another leaf blower um, for this engine or right other there. engines that I may build in the future so we'll see uh, if I, I may still use this as a as an engine for a little pedal bike or or kick scooter I'm not too sure but this was honestly a successful so attempt you know on building these things it can be really hard they're very finicky engines blower. but uh, I really enjoyed it though it, it was great it was a great learning experience and I'm not through with it either. I'm going to bring, you know, this this will be back in in the garage and uh, I'm going to see, I'm going to take the engine apart and see how is it, how it is and uh, go from there and uh, may do some more tryouts with it in the future anyway. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this little yeah. film. I really enjoyed it too. So uh, you know what? This was a great success, and uh, I'm probably going to build some more in the future. Uh, no. Anyways, this last part is when I, it starts, 
Uh, Andy turns on this the machine or the fish uh, scale again, and uh, here it goes. Enjoy, guys. Take care.